Welcome everyone to Talk of the Town. I'm Lauren Real, and I've got a great show for you coming up today. We've got a lot of new folks joining us on the program. Jacobson Bros Meats and Deli, Supreme Health and Fitness, and Elements Massage. But first, we're going to be talking with another brand new guest. I've got Amy Meetzel from Brand or Bare Knuckle Arts, excuse me, okay. joining us today. Thank you. How are you? Thanks I'm, for coming on the program. I'm great. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. I'm so excited to learn about what you do and your art studio. It sounds like a great place to be. So let's start with you telling us a little more about your studio and also why it's somewhere that people want to come experience. Great. Thanks. Um, so Bare Knuckle Arts is a visual arts studio, mm -hmm. and it's located on Madison's east side. And it's just this really vibrant little studio that offers all kinds of visual arts classes for kids all the way up to adults. Oh my gosh, so tell me more about these classes and what kind of opportunities that you're offering. So we offer weekly art classes, we call them um, art muscle classes, like hustle your art muscle. Oh yeah, like to kind of get that creativity juice yeah. flowing. And it's after school art, homeschool art, mm -hmm. and then some night classes for adults. And then we also offer weekend classes and uh, summer classes for kids. Oh, so you've got a variety of different options depending on your schedule or what place you're at in yeah. life. Uh -huh. How fun, you've got somebody, something for everybody. But, you know, I think a lot of folks must be wondering, and I know I sure do when I think about a new art studio, like, do I need to have previous art experience or would someone at home need to be an artist in order to take, take advantage of these classes at your studio? No, you don't need any experience at all. Actually, we um, have had lots of people come in. It's the first time they've ever tried an art class. Oh, and really? They, it's just a great experience for them. So, and so you can be a total newbie. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I've had uh, classes where I have like a six-year-old and an adult, and I had this one class where the six-year-old just wanted to get in there and do it, and it was silk marbling, and they got in there and they did it, and then it was kind of like a release. All the adults in the class were like, oh, I oh, can do this. I can do this too. Yeah. yeah. You know, a young child can come in and try this for the first time. There's no reason you can't try something new at any yeah. age. And as far as, you know, something like painting goes too, I, I've heard that, you know, whether it be painting or art or another, you know, creative creative style, um, you know, of like an outlet like that, I've heard it's very good for relaxing and just kind of reducing stress in your life yeah. as well. So other than that, I know that people have probably had some kind of unexpected positive experiences from taking your classes. So could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, one of the things that has turned out to be just wonderful is um, the the we leave a lot of our classes open, like the age, age range open. Sure. And so like I've had um, like a grandpa and a, and a granddaughter come in and a mom and a daughter and then I had three generations come in once for a class and so oh it's a multi-generation people learning and at the same time spending time together. And yeah. they're able to kind of connect yeah. and spend the time together learning this new thing that's yeah. new for all of them even though they're all at different stages yep. in mm -hmm. their life. Yeah. That is so cool, what a great bonding experience yes. for families, that is truly awesome. Now, I, I saw that one of your one of your goals and missions um, with Bare Knuckle Arts is living consciously. So, can you tell me the philosophy behind that? Yeah, we we really work hard to try to use, reuse, and upcycle things. I mean, it's just great for the environment, and it's it seems like it's a little bit of a challenge. But sometimes, you know, we figure out how to use things that people are just going to throw away, yeah. or you know, obviously people recycle, but we figure out ways to create art out of those things. And I like how you said upcycling, because yes. you can take something and yeah, make it even better than yes. it previously was and turn it into something brand new yeah. with a whole new use. So that's that's awesome, and I think that's such an important thing to do. Mm -hmm. And it, it just takes a little creativity to, mm -hmm. you know, to learn how to re reuse and upcycle mm -hmm. and things yeah. like that. So that's, yeah. that's awesome. Now, last but not least, I want to know more about the origin of your name, about Bare Knuckle Arts. Where does that come from? Well, um, bare knuckle is a reference to fighting. It's when people take mm -hmm. off their boxing gloves and they fight. But yeah, the yeah. idea is to keep, is, it's a fight to keep art and to keep creativity in your life. And so that's kind of where the name came from. That, you know, that creating art is, it's great for your mind, it's great for your heart, mm -hmm. it's great for your emotions. And so it's a fight to keep it. And so that's kind of where the and, name and came from. You know, keep that creativity alive and, you know, keep yeah. art in your life. And, it sounds like it has so many, you know, great beneficial components yeah. to it that there's no reason you should let that kind of slip away or that you shouldn't pick it up even whether you're six or 60 yes. or, you know, yeah. anybody can pick it up anytime. Exactly. So that's, yeah. that's really awesome. Well, Amy, thank you so much for coming in and talking about Bare Knuckle Arts. It's been great learning more. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And we will all be right back with more Talk of the Town. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. With me now, I have Mark Jacobson from Jacobson Bros Meat and Dolly. Welcome to the program. Thank you. 
it's great to have you on. And I know that uh, I've been enjoying your potato salad for lot, lots of years here in my life, but I'm learning that you guys have been a family-owned local business since 1932, and there's been five generations. Is that right? That's correct. That is awesome. So give me a little bit of the history and tell me kind of how and when the business got started. Well, my great-grandfather started it. His name was Thor in 1932. Mm -hmm. Uh, he had a large family, and uh, two of his sons take it, took it over, um, one being my grandfather, Grant, and his brother, Ole. Awesome. Um, from there, my father bought the business mm -hmm. uh, about 30 years ago, and um, then my brother and I took over the business uh, fully just uh, a couple years ago. Oh, did you? Well, congratulations. That's awesome. And I always love to see a local business that's been kept in a family for a, you know, a long time and is still going strong and expanding and growing. That's awesome. So let's talk about that potato salad I mentioned. I think that's one of your most famous items. So where did that recipe idea come from? My uh, great aunt, uh -huh. Gladys, uh, started that recipe. Uh, she when gets the credit, huh? She gets the credit. <laughs> uh, at that time, uh, we had three stores. Um, between my grandfather and my and Oli, mm -hmm. and uh, they would only sell a potato salad from Memorial Day to Labor Day, oh and my gosh. it didn't become a year-round product until my father took over the business. He said, "Like we're not going to deprive people of this for nine months out of the year. We're going to offer it year-round." Yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, and I think people are really glad for that. I know, like I said, it's definitely a local favorite. So tell me a little bit more about um, your involvement as well as your brother, Todd. Like, when did you guys get involved and start becoming more active in Jacobson Bros? Well, my brother went into the business uh, after a short stint at UW-Madison uh -huh. in 1987. Awesome. And uh, I graduated from UW-Madison in 1988, went to work for a national meat company mm -hmm. for about eight years, and then uh, came back to the family business after that. Very nice. It's also good, I'm sure, that in your time working outside of the family business, you got a lot of other valuable experience, too, and you could kind of bring something back and new to the family business as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Um, we got a lot. Uh, I was wor working for a, a national um, meat processor. Mm -hmm. um, we made a lot of smoked meats, and so I was able to bring back uh, some of that experience, and yeah. uh, um, now we have a, a USDA-inspected sausage kitchen, actually just a block down from this studio. Oh, no kidding. And uh, we make all of our own brats fresh. Uh, actually, this morning I made 200 pounds of smoked brats uh, already today. Well, you accomplished a lot more than I have so far this <laughs> okay. morning, so look at that. That's, that's awesome. That's nice that you have that accessible right there, and your experience has allowed you to, you know, to start having this aspect of your business and I know that having fresh made meat and brats and products like that is you know people love that they, they absolutely love having that option so it's very nice they can get that locally thank you so other other than that let's talk a little bit about what the products are that you sell and what your specialties are well we've uh, spent a lot of time in sourcing the best beef pork and chicken from the Midwest um, we have a great distributor here in the Madison area that mm -hmm. uh, provides us with products that are only sourced uh, to our stores um, so that we kind of have a corner on So you on have proprietary products. Exactly. Um, our beef is the top 10% of choice, which we found is, is a nice blend of, of tenderness mm -hmm. and flavor. And um, our chicken is fresh Amish grown chicken. Our pork again is the leanest, the largest loins that we can find. And, uh, and then our deli salads, uh, a third of the deli salads, as I mentioned, are, are made just a block down the road here yeah. in Madison, and uh, including our potato salad. Including the potato and, salad. And uh, then a lot of them are made fresh every day in the store. That's really neat. I didn't know, you know, you guys work so hard to cultivate just such a great, you know, selection of the highest quality meat. So that is really nice that someone can come into your store and know that that's what they're getting. They're getting like the best of the best and you guys have kind of done all the legwork there to make sure that you're only carrying, um, you know, like the best that the area has to offer in the Midwest. So that's Thank awesome. You. So let's talk quick before we go that you guys do, you guys do catering and venison processing. So can you give me a, a little quick introduction to that? Well, the catering, uh, we kind of go back and forth. Some years we do more on-site. Mm -hmm. um, right now we're doing very limited on-site, so it's uh, difficult to get our crew out there on certain times and dates. But uh, hey. we do make a lot of products, um, both hot and cold, for get-togethers, parties, office uh, uh, get-togethers. Yeah, definitely. And, um, Even just can, a big barbecue exactly. or a, you know, um, Hot meats, picnic. everything we can cook right in the store, make up trays and um, 
hors d'oeuvres, things of that nature, and then uh, they just pick them up at our store for any of their events. Awesome. What a, what a great option. I'm sure folks can just give you a call and see if you're able to cater their event and see yeah. if that's an option. And then the venison processing uh, we've been doing for about uh, 15 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, again, they're smoked uh, and uh, made just down the block from here. Yeah, so um, just down bring, Fish Hatch. Yeah, uh, actually right on Syene here. Oh, on Syene? Yeah. Okay, very close. And uh, we, we bring in boneless trim mm -hmm. uh, of venison and make up all the same smoked meats and processed meats that we do for beef and pork that we sell in our stores. And uh, we're just coming into that season now, so yeah. we take the trim in at our stores or right here at our main plant, and it makes it convenient uh, for the for the customer. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing a little more about that, as well as the great history of Jacobson Bros. So once again, this is Mark Jacobson from Jacobson Bros. Meat and Deli, five locations right here in the in the Madison area. Thanks for joining us in the program today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, we'll be right back with more talk of the town. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. With me now is Shauna Verstegen, the fitness director over at Supreme Health and Fitness. Welcome to the program. Hey, thank you. It's so great to have you on today, and I'm really excited to learn more about Supreme and what makes you guys different from, you know, there's, there's a lot of all, you know, all-inclusive gyms in the Madison area. So what makes Supreme different and the experience unique? Supreme has been around since the 1970s, and we like to consider ourselves the hometown family fun gym. Our big focus is making people feel comfortable. Um, it's not a huge big box gym mm -hmm. where you walk in and you're a number. Everybody knows your name. We help you out with a general fitness appointment when you join the gym. And we basically make a fitness experience which can be kind of scary. I love that, yeah. Um, really comfortable and, mm -hmm. and just a lot of fun and it's a great, great comfortable family environment there. I, I love it because it just seems so welcoming. Mm -hmm. You know, gyms as a whole or starting a fitness program mm -hmm. or going into one of those, you know, big gyms, it can be very intimidating. Yeah. It sounds like you guys are the exact opposite of that and just so welcoming and want to make sure that folks feel like they're at kind of their home away from home yes, when, they're, when they're over there with you. So classes, I'm sure you've got some of those. So can you tell me what different classes you do offer? Yeah, at we have some of the best classes in the United States. We wow. offer we offer our cycling classes. We mm -hmm. have body pump classes. Um, we've got yoga, Pilates, Tai Bo, which is actually still that, around and yeah, actually very knew? popular. Very popular. Um, of course, we have Zumba. Everybody loves yes, to come and dance. Favorite. We have another dance class called Work Fitness. Mm -hmm. It's a little more hip hoppy. Uh, we've got a bar class. We um, have an array, like and, a full array. Yes, <laughs> yes, and we also have um, TRX classes and boot camp classes, water fitness classes in our pool, um, and those are all included with your membership. They don't have to pay any extra to take the classes. That is also another really nice feature, so I'm glad you pointed that out, because sometimes you're like, oh great, there's all these classes, but then you find out that there's hidden fees, no. or pay as you go, or whatever, but it's no. all part of your membership. One flat fee, and you can take all of the classes, <sighs> and, so and again, variety. they're very welcoming. We're, we're very happy to introduce you to new class formats. Yeah, so there's no reason to be afraid to try something something new mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, go for a new experience. And Absolutely. There's, I mean, there's a lot to try, so mm -hmm. you can always kind of be changing it up. And well, that's up the important routine. thing about fitness is finding something that you enjoy, yeah. and we give you a chance to experience with lots of different things and um, guide you in the right path to finding something you love and um, reaching your fitness goals. Yeah, and that is definitely an ultimate goal there. So I'm sure you guys also have personal training, mm -hmm. is that right? Yes, we have um, by far some of the top trainers in the United States. Um, all are certified um, college degrees and uh, fully accredited just, trainers. Yes, yes, absolutely. And um, again, um, not your, your high pressure type mm -hmm. scary trainers, but again, all of our trainers' goals are to help you be comfortable, um, yeah. to help you take this big world of fitness and make it something doable to reach your specific goals while doing something you enjoy and staying really safe. Make it accessible, make it safe, make mm -hmm. it fun, make it enjoyable. Absolutely. I mean, that sounds like such a great experience. Absolutely. I'm very, I'm of very proud of my staff. They're, yeah, they're you wonderful. you should be. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds absolutely fantastic. But along with having such fabulous trainers, fabulous classes, I've also heard that you guys have one of the best racquetball, racquetball programs in the state. So can you yep. kind of tell me some details on that? Yeah, we have 
Um, probably one of the best racquetball players, not only or, uh, programs, but mm -hmm. uh, programs in the state, but also in the Midwest. We have wow. over 400 players at our gym. Uh, we've got lots of different leagues. Mm -hmm. We offer lessons to help get people started or just to improve their game with some of our racquetball pros. And we hold some of the top racquetball events um, in the Midwest as well. So if you're a racquetball player or interested in getting involved in racquetball, uh, Supreme is definitely the place to go. We've got six championship so courts cool. and uh, beer in the fridge downstairs. <laughs> and it's just a wonderful place for, for the racquetball community. That is. That sounds like a great place for that community. And also, I I just want to point out too that that's such a nice sport because it can be indoors so mm -hmm. you can do it all year round. Yep, especially as it gets a little bit colder yeah. out. We, uh, we see option. a lot more racquetball players come inside and, and it's a lifetime sport. We have people of all different ages. We have our juniors program, a bunch of adorable kids playing racquetball, yeah. all the way up to people in their 90s at our facility all playing ages. racquetball. So we've only got just a couple more seconds but last, you know, last but not least, tell me how does Supreme make fitness so fun? Because everybody is smiling, we find things that you love and we hone in on it. Um, it's just a fun family environment and we make lots of friends and it's just a lifetime, uh, lifetime fitness commitment. What a great community to be part of over at Supreme. Yes. That just sounds like, you know, for all reasons, the trainers, the classes, the environment, the programs, this world-class staff you have. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no reason not to go there. It's, it's a blast. We love it. We love it. <laughs> it sure sounds like it. It's been really great talking with you, Shauna. Thank you. Thank nice you meeting you. Thank you for coming on. Once again, this is Shauna, the fitness director over at Supreme Health and Fitness. And we'll be right back with more Talk of the Town, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. For our last guest today, I want to introduce Heather Knox and Nina Sander from Elements Massage of Sun Prairie. Welcome to the program, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to have you on, and I know that we're going to be talking about a really important topic today, and that is how what you guys do, you know, massage, therapeutic massage, can be part of a wellness regimen for a cancer patient or a cancer survivor. With, you know, us coming to kind of the close of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I think this is a great time to talk about this. And talk about, you know, first off, why should a cancer patient or a cancer survivor consider massage as part of their regimen? Well, most cancer survivors and patients experience certain levels of pain and fatigue mm -hmm. and anxiety and stress, and massage therapy is a wonderful way to alleviate those symptoms. Yeah, it can definitely combat all of them. You know, mm -hmm. I think a lot of us think about it as a relief for stress and just a way to relax, but also, you know, now you've mentioned it's also a way to help reduce that pain and that fatigue too, so you're kind of a helping them from multiple different angles. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a great thing to be able to incorporate. Now, do you ladies know whether medical professionals are recognizing massage as a you know, safe uh, treatment method or I guess kind of an aftercare method for um, cancer patients or ca cancer survivors? Absolutely. Uh, Mayo Clinic, MD Anderson Cancer Centers, and several oncologists have recognized that massage therapy is a great addition to a regimen wow. during treatments. And also several scientific journals have published articles stating that massage therapy can be great a great addition to a wellness regimen. Oh, that, that's fabulous. And it's always great when you know, you know how well something works and what positive you know, impacts and benefits it can have for folks. But now you have the medical community also agreeing that, hey, this is definitely something that you should be adding to what you do. And it can you know, have a whole host of benefits all on its own. So that is, that is very, very cool. Now, why is this so important to you as, as a business? Um, I myself am mm -hmm. a breast cancer survivor. Um, I have employed survivors yeah. on, on my staff, and I'm very proud of them all. It's you something near That's, and dear to my heart. Yeah. Um, during my treatments, I received massage therapy mm -hmm. and had great benefit for it. And during that time, I decided that I wanted to be able to have that available for other people to experience. So this that's must be so like truly, truly rewarding for you. That's mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful that you know you were able, you went through something and you were able to find some relief through this, through this therapeutic massage, and now you're continuing to spread that and help other, you know, other folks as well. Yeah. And is that why you've got the? I noticed you have some pink in your hair. Yes. Is that for the breast cancer? <laughs> yes, it is. Too? Yep, it's that. It's that month. I love that. <laughs> yeah, it's so so great to so show your support in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've kind of been curious, are either of you two massage therapists? No, um, we leave that to the experts. Uh -huh. uh, we have a team of licensed massage therapists with a variety of styles to, um, so that we can match clients to, and customize a massage to that client. 
Yeah, because I'm sure every massage therapist has, you know, different specialties and different strengths, and you want to make sure that you're kind of finding that perfect match. So you two are kind of playing matchmaker in that way. Yeah. That, that is really fun. And I know from, I, I personally have had a lot of, um, you know, experience with massage in my life um, for back pain, and it's just been really important to me to be able to find the right person, because there definitely is a huge difference when you find that person that you're compatible with. Mm -hmm. So I love that you two are there and ready to help, you know, folks find the right person for them at Element massage that that's yes. absolutely great so tell me just really quick where you guys are located that in the Sun Prairie area we're in the Prairie Lake Shopping Center which mm -hmm. is located out by Costco and and Woodman's in Sun Prairie and we're right next door to Starbucks and everybody knows where the Starbucks that's is. that's right <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect and that's just you know a quick jaunt down you know 151 from Madison or whatever it may be where they wherever they may be coming from so you guys are really accessible that is good to know and then last but not least how could somebody make an appointment all they have to do is call the studio. Um, we have some really great hours, 9 to 9, Monday through Saturday, on Sundays, 10 to 7. And the number is 608-834-0214. I love those hours, 9 to 9. So even if you do work within regular business hours and can't scoot out for a massage, you're able to have plenty of time in the evening as well. So you guys are really making it work with your, with mm -hmm. your client schedules. That's fabulous. Well, thank you so much, Heather and Nina. It's been great talking with you both. And of course, thank you for sharing your personal story mm -hmm. and why you know massage, therapeutic massage has been so important to you and why it's so important that you guys are able to spread this to your clients at Elements Massage of Sun Prairie. So once again, thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Thank you to all of our other guests on Talk of the Town today. And thanks to you for watching at home. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to seeing you next time right here on Talk of the Town on the CW57.